In my previous video, we unboxed these new mini swim baits from Sixth Sense, the mini trace and the mini draw. In this video, I'm gonna add hooks to the mini draw. I'm gonna show you guys what rods and reels I plan on using to throw these baits. And then we're gonna head down to the lake and get our first impressions of how these things look in the water. Hello and welcome, what's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Justin Royal here back with another swim bait video. Today, I'm gonna be throwing some hooks on this mini draw that we unboxed in the last video. I'm gonna get these things tied on to the setups that I have in mind to throw these new smaller size swim baits. And we're gonna get our first look at these things in the water. I also wanna say Happy New Year to everybody. It's the first day of 2023. I hope you all had a safe and fun New Year's Eve celebration. I didn't do much, I just stayed around here at the house and then after I heard all the fireworks going off outside at midnight, I fell asleep. And speaking of swim baits, since this is a swim bait video, I have a new one right here from Doobie Swim Baits and I'm gonna open this at the end of the video so make sure you guys stick around till the end if you wanna see what Doobie sent us. If you haven't seen my previous video, you guys can go check that out, but I'm really excited for these new smaller size swim baits that are on the way from Six Sense Fishing. You guys have been asking me for release dates and I do not have that information. As soon as I know, I will make sure you guys know as well, but I'm really excited to have my hands on these and I'm really excited for you guys to be able to get your hands on these for a couple of reasons. The main one being since these are smaller, lighter swim baits coming in at around an ounce in weight, this is gonna open up swim baiting, swim bait fishing, to a broader range of people. Maybe people who aren't interested in throwing the really big baits and for people who maybe don't have the resources or just don't want to invest in a dedicated big bait setup. Big swim baits, they take beefier gear, heavier rods, longer rods. If you get up into that four, five, six ounce plus range, you need a dedicated rod, a dedicated reel that's got a bigger spool, like a 300 size reel. And a lot of people just don't have those setups, don't want to have those setups, or maybe can't invest the money in those setups. And some people just rock with a couple different combos. Some people are on foot, some people are in a kayak, and not everybody can lug around 80, combos like you see me doing out there on my boat. These baits right here are gonna allow us to throw swim baits on our conventional gear, like a normal rod and reel. And I'm gonna show you guys which ones I have in mind to throw these baits right here in this video. But the first thing that I wanna do is I gotta get some hooks rigged up on the mini draw. I just got some in and I'll show you guys what hooks I'm gonna use, what split rings I'm gonna use, and I'll show you the tools that I use to put these treble hooks on these baits right here in the garage. So first up, I got some number six owner hyper wire split rings. These are really good split rings, really strong, sturdy, and I'm going with a number six size because that's what I had in the boat. For hooks, I'm going with these Mustad Ultra Point KVD Elite Triple Grip Treble Hooks. These are number one size. That's what we're gonna be rocking with on the draw to start out with, and we'll just see how that goes and we'll adjust from there if we need to. Luckily, the mini trace is ready to rip straight out of the package, so I don't need to make any adjustments to this, but this draw that also came in the box with the mini draw also doesn't have hooks on it, so I need to get this laced up. And it's something I wanna make you guys aware of about this bait right here. When I got this bait shipped to me, there was a little note in there that said it was a slow sink draw. And I thought that was kind of odd because aren't all of the draws slow sinks? In fact, yes they are. This is a fast sink draw. That note was sent in error. And this is the new fast sink draw that's gonna enable us to reach those deeper depths a little bit further, get down there, target fish on live scope. So this is actually a heavier draw, not a lighter one. This is the fast sink, and I'm gonna put some hooks on this bad boy as well. I'm actually gonna go ahead and rob the hooks off of this draw right here and put them on the fast sink. And to do that, I'm gonna be using these Texas Tackle split ring pliers. These are really nice split ring pliers and they make the job really easy. For those of you that may not have ever done this before, you just grab these suckers right there on the split ring, give it a little pinch, makes it extremely easy to get that split ring open. Remove your hooks off your baits. These are the yellow handle, but I also use the orange handle and they both work really well. As you can see right there, super simple. Now I'm just gonna do the reverse process. Grab my fast sink draw, get a fresh pinch on that split ring. These hook hangers on the draw, they swivel. So you need to be careful when you're doing this. If you get it lined up right, should be fairly easy to get that split ring started. Oh, I had it on there and I popped it off like a dingus. One more time. Should be fairly easy to get that split ring started. And then just use the pliers to spin a rooney, get it the rest of the way around. Boom. Easy as that to take your hooks on and off with these little Texas Tackle split ring pliers. Really nifty little tool. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing for the rear hook. 
And there we go, boys. Ready to rip, fast sink draw, laced up with some new hooks. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the mini draw. I'm gonna get the hooks thrown on here really fast. You guys have seen the process and then we'll keep this moving right along. And there we are, laced up and ready to go. Can't tell you how much having the right tools for the job helps make the job go smooth. It literally took me like a minute to a minute and a half to get this ready for the water. Brand new hooks and split rings laced up on the new mini draw. All right, guys, now let's talk setups. What rods and reels do I have in mind to use to throw these baits? Now, as I mentioned earlier, big baits require big gear. The setup that I use to throw baits like the draw, the shad glide, and the hinkle shad, well, that setup looks like this. This is my big bait setup, my big glide bait setup. This is a USA Custom Mag Glide, seven foot, 11 inch extra heavy rod, custom made in the USA. This is a Shimano 300, and it's really only good for one thing, throwing big baits like this, super beefed up gear, and this is like a 500 plus dollar combo. Really nice, love using it, blessed to have it. Realistically, this is just not in the spectrum for most people, like most people wouldn't go out and buy one of these unless they're really into throwing big baits. And that's where these smaller swim baits from Sixth Sense are gonna really enable more people to get into throwing baits like this without having to buy a giant setup like that. Since they're in that one ounce range, you're gonna be able to use your conventional gear and it's gonna open up the world of swim baits to more anglers and more people are gonna to get to experience the joy and the fun really of throwing a bait like a hard swim bait. Hard swim baits absolutely one of the most fun ways you can catch fish. One of my favorite ways to fish. And while they're not as heavy as the draw, once you get up to baits like the draw, I mean these big glide baits, it, it just makes no sense to try throwing this on the rods that we're gonna be able to throw this bait on. So let me talk about what I plan on using to throw this bad boy right here. Like I said, this is around the one ounce range and I don't need a big old Magnum swim bait setup to throw that bad boy. So I'm gonna go with this right here. The Heater Series 7.5 Heavy Fast. I think this is gonna be perfect. I actually have one brand new right here, fresh out of the sleeve. And I'm gonna get it paired up with a reel really quick. And I'm actually gonna go with this right here a reel that I'm sure many of you out there have. This is an SLX DC, 7.2 to one. The reason I'm going with the seven to one on this is because I like to be able to control the glide bait with the reel handle alone a lot of the time. And when you have that faster speed, it allows you to just give it real twitches, real cranks, and it will get that glide really working without you having to impart too much action with your wrist or with the rod. So that's what I'm gonna go with. 7.5 Heavy Fast Heater Series and the SLX DC 7.2 to one. Not to mention this blue and black SLX DC looks pretty slick on this blue, black, and neon yellow heater series rod. I mean, that's one of the best looking combos that you can build out right there. Just looks awesome. Yes, looks matter somewhat. It's cool for things to look cool. And this is a slick looking setup right here. Got my SLX mounted up to my heater series 7.5 heavy fast. I'm about to tie on this mini glide for the first time. I'm gonna use a San Diego jam knot. And this is just like 17 pound fluorocarbon, straight fluoro. Again, I wanna be able to give that bait action with the real handle alone, straight fluorocarbon. No stretch like mono, so it's gonna enable me to really give that action to that bait without having to do a lot of twitching with the rod tip. Hopefully, we'll see. I'm speaking all theoretically here. Obviously, since I've never fished this bait before. But there we go, take a look at that. Setup number one, the mini draw on a 7.5 heavy fast with the Shimano SLX DC. Super accessible, a lot of people already have a setup like this in their lineup and this little bait right here I think is gonna do good on this one, but let's go ahead and get ready to throw the mini trace. And for that, I'm just gonna use my 7.4 medium heavy mod fast heater series with a metanium. It's my swim jig setup, but I think it'll do just fine with the new one ounce shad scales mini trace, but we're gonna find out together. I'm using needle nose to cut this line because my scissors are way down there on the end of the table. The table's an absolute mess behind me. I need to get this garage cleaned up, man. I'm gonna tie one more San Diego jam and then we'll be ready to head down to the water. I go eight wraps on my San Diego jam. How many wraps do you guys do when you're tying a knot? I know a lot of you guys just use the old Palomar knot, so that won't really apply to you guys, but I'm interested to know if you tie a clinch knot, how many wraps you put in. I've always done eight for Troy Aikman because we were Cowboys fans back in the day when I still watch football. I don't really watch sports anymore outside of MMA, but there we go. The new mini trace 
rigged up on my 7.4 medium heavy mod fast heater series rod. Shimano Metanium 7.1 to 1 gear ratio, 17 pound fluorocarbon again. And I think this setup right here is gonna do great for throwing this little swim bait. Again, two setups that a lot of people probably have in their lineup already. A seven foot something medium heavy and a seven foot something heavy fast. And there we are, we're ready to rip. Let's go down to the water, make our first cast with these baits and see how they swim. Nothing left to do now but go down there and get our first impressions of these bad boys actually working in the water. All right, here we are down at the water's edge. The weather is crazy. It's like spring or even summertime out here right now. 80 plus degrees, absolutely crazy with the weather we had last week. So I'm gonna make my first cast with the new mini swim baits. I'm gonna do my very best to give you guys some in the water looks at these things. I got a second camera right here, but the water is murky. Normally this is a clear water lake, but with the lake levels being so low and with all the boater traffic, it's just looking a little murky, but but I'll do my best and I'll uh, describe what I see going on to the best of my ability while also trying to get you guys some actual footage from here on the second camera. I'm gonna start out with the trace. We pretty much know what that's gonna look like. Jointed swim bait is supposed to swim. Oh, and it swims. How does it feel with the metanium? Metanium screaming, probably need to oil it, but man, it looks good. Look at that thing. It swims. She swims, boys. Try to get a cast out here in front of the camera here for you. It looks great. Really impressed at the swim. All right, the trace looks how I expected it to look. This is the one I'm most excited to see in action, the mini draw. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, look at it. Oh, it's so choppy. Nothing but rod, real handle twitches, I mean. Oh man, I don't know if you guys can see that. You probably can't see that. It looks good. It's really choppy, really fast, erratic action, back and forth easily with the real handle. And I feel like we're sort of spinning our wheels out here because the water is so dirty. And I can barely even see the baits. So if I can barely see them, I feel like you guys can probably hardly see them at all, if at all, on the camera. Completely blown out the shoreline. Any clear water that we had is about to be gone. Hopefully, this gave you guys a couple glimpses of how these things look in the water. Definitely not the best conditions to do a swim test on some baits, man. I don't got a pool. Might need to downsize that hook on the back. Rear hook keeps hanging up on me a little bit. Might need to adjust that. Looks good though. Looks dang good. Just chops back and forth effortlessly. Tighter action. Not as wide of a swing as the draw. Obviously it's a much smaller bait, much lighter bait. But it definitely glides and it chops too, which is nice. I feel like my size selection on the rear hook is a little bit of an issue. But we're just trying to get an idea. There's faster, choppier movements there. One of my favorite things about the, the large trace is you can fish it pretty much as fast as you want. Just burn it and it doesn't blow out. This one seems to be similar. It is ripping across the surface of the water really swims looks great stop and go awesome it's practically just exactly the same as the six inch one man army i don't got a cameraman so i gotta make this happen solo guys all right guys we're back home from the water i don't know how well you guys can see that footage that i shot down there honestly like i said it was really blown out murky water and i'm doing everything by myself so it's tough to get actual in the water shots sometimes especially without a swimming pool but i can tell you that the mini draw and the mini trace both swam really great let's start off talking about the draw so it's a lot tighter action chop as they say it chops it, it darts back and forth uh, pretty tightly and I was able to get it to work with just uh, the real cranks without having to twitch the rod the thing swam great you can fish it a lot faster than you can the larger, slower, wider gliding baits, and I really like that. I like fishing my glide baits fast. I get bored. I like to keep it moving and get that reaction bite, and this is gonna be an excellent cover glide, fishing through trees, around cover, around docks, and it's gonna work great 
to trigger those strikes around cover. I was pretty satisfied with how well I was able to get this thing to swim just using the reel handle. But when I started incorporating some rod twitches and reeling it a little bit faster, I mean, it had some really awesome darting action. I don't know what else there's to say about it. It swam really great. I think I need to downsize the hook that's on the back. No big deal, we'll make that adjustment and get that fixed. But I'm really happy with the way the mini draw swims and the 7.5 heavy fast heater series dialed for this bait. The SLX DC 7.2 to one gear ratio, perfect. This setup is freaking money for throwing the mini draw. And that right there is where that bait will stay. And if I'm being perfectly honest, I think that the 7.5 Heavy is going to be a little bit better for throwing the Mini Trace as well. Have it on the 7.4 Medium Heavy Mod Fast, I think it was a little bit light for this one ounce bait. So probably try throwing this on the 7.5 Heavy Fast in the future, but you definitely do not need a big old beefed up, dedicated swim bait setup to throw these baits. This sucker right here, let's talk about how this swam. Awesome. Perfect dialed. You can burn it, you can twitch it, you can flutter it, you can start a stop, you can absolutely blast this thing across the surface of the water and it will not blow out on you. It's practically the same as the larger version of the Trace, just in a smaller, more compact version that you're going to be able to throw on more conventional style gear. I was burning it on the 7 0.1 to 1 metanium and it swam like a champ. Hopefully you guys can see what was going on down there in the water. I will do my best to get some more footage once the water clears up. It's just a different lake this year, guys. The water is so much more dirty, dingy than it's ever been since I first moved out here on this lake. I've never seen it like this before and the visibility is just not there. One man army, I gotta work with what I could get down there in the wind, in the chop, in the dinge throwing these baits trying to let you guys get a look at them but i got a really good look at them and i'm stoked on how they swam two thumbs up on the new mini swim base from six cents you guys stick around and stay tuned for more information on when these things will become available i unfortunately don't have anything right now everybody keeps asking when they're gonna drop i don't know but as soon as i do know i will let you know so make sure you follow me on all social medias. You know, I have a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram at the Justin Royal. And of course, right here on YouTube. And as soon as I know more, you will know more as well. But earlier we talked about this right here, which is another swim bait. And I figured we'd go ahead and take a look at this on camera, do a little swim bait unboxing to round out this video. But I have a couple other baits that I want to show you before we crack off into this package. My buddy Dave, the Mangler. Shout out to the Mangler. I know you're watching. He actually made me some custom spinner baits recently and they're freaking awesome so i want to show them to you guys we've been doing a lot of spinner bait content a lot of bladed bait content here on the channel lately and this video is going to be no different because i have a few more spinner baits that i want to show you that my buddy dave made for me they're beautiful and i can't wait to start fishing with them and i want to let you guys check them out so let's do that check these suckers out absolutely beautiful shad color gold blades double willow leaf i believe these are half ounce spinner baits handmade from my buddy Dave the Mangler at the Mangler Fishing on Instagram. You guys give him a follow, show him some love. Two really nice, natural, beautiful shad colors, but he also made me these right here. He calls these cotton candy. Got a little bit, some darker strands in the skirt, red flake, pink flake, lavender, just beautiful swim baits. Got the raw, unpainted head, I like that. And again, dual gold willow leaf blades, a couple beads up there. And just really beautiful handmade hand tied skirts you can see the wire there on the skirt dave tied these up for me made these up for me and i'm thankful to have these thank you shout out to dave absolutely beautiful thank you brother i appreciate it but let's go ahead and round out the video with a swim bait unboxing I'm gonna bust out the bottle butcher here and we're gonna cut off into this package and see what doobie sent us now you guys might remember if you've been watching along we did an unboxing for my first ever doobie swim bait on the channel here recently and since then i've still been talking to them we went back and forth a little bit in the dms and they offered to send us another bait asked me what paint scheme i would like and this is it right here i'm gonna let you guys see what they've cooked up for us this time the last bait was like solid bone just straight up bone color that's what i picked but this one right here is a little more creative a little more flashy and i think you guys are really gonna like it all right you ready here it is check that thing out dude absolutely beautiful i can only see it in the viewfinder i'm going to take a look at it now for the first time i've only seen pictures of this paint scheme but i've never seen one in real life so i'm going to turn it around and get my first look at this bad boy oh my gosh that's beautiful that thing is beautiful as you can see it's a bluegill pattern blue eye 
Thank you so much for your support, the Doobies. Shout out to the awesome people over at Doobie Swim Baits, man. You guys show them some love on the gram. There's their sticker, there's their business card, John and Rebecca, really cool people. They always send out a little airheads with their baits. Just a nice little touch, extra tails. But here's the star of the show right here, guys. Look at this awesome bluegill C3, I believe is the name of this bait. Just a beautiful bluegill pattern, crank down swim bait. Nice, thick body, three section, multi-jointed, high quality, beautiful paint schemes, really creative, really awesome looking. Got that aggressive look on the face beautiful blue eyes and I wanted to have one of their bluegill patterns so they painted this up for me and I couldn't be more grateful. Shout out to Dewey for sending this over to the channel. We will be fishing with this. I've already fished with their other C3, the bone one, a little bit and I got bit once on it but the fish missed it so I'm still trying to get my first catch on the Dewey but man this is an awesome bait and as soon as these fish turn back on and maybe when springtime gets here or even summer when the bluegill are, are really up there this is going to be a key player and it's just absolutely beautiful really nice well made they swim great and i'm looking forward to uh you know continuing to use these adding them to the arsenal i use my 7 8 extra heavy fast heater series swim bait rod to throw this and it is dialed for the C3. I believe this is the C3, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can check them out on Instagram and take a look at all their baits. And that right there is an excellent way to round out the video. You guys keep your eyes on Sixth Sense for the mini trace and the mini draw. Until then, check out SixthSenseFishing.com and use my code JR10 for 10% off the entire website. It's an excellent way to support the channel, support Sixth Sense, support the people who support me and enable us to make these videos for you guys for free over here on YouTube. Shout out to the JR10 Army. You guys are amazing. Send me a screenshot of your order confirmation so that I can give you a shout out on my Instagram. That's at the Justin Royal. Really easy. Place your order. Use the JR10 code. Take a screenshot. DM it to me and I will post it up tag your accounts just for me to say thank you and give you all some public recognition for helping us keep this whole thing running speaking of keeping this thing running we could not do it without the heater army the almighty heater army thank you guys so much for your love and support if you guys are interested in learning more about the heater army top link down below in the video description get access to special badges and emojis the heaters only live stream priority response to comments raw and uncut unedited fishing footage behind the scenes stuff that's only available to heater army members and more. If you want to learn more about that, click that top link down below and find out how you can become a Heater Army member yourself. Thank you to everybody who has already done so. The list of names that you're going to see at the very end of this video are those incredible people. And if you want your name added onto the list, join the Heater Army and you will be at the end of every video yourself. But thank you to all of you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Happy New Year. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now and I'll see you on the next one.